Good morning. Have a great Tuesday. It's a cold start to the day, so grab the jackets with some light frost out there, but we're going to see improving weather conditions, more sunshine throughout the day today, and more seasonable temperatures. And that's really going to be the trend all week long with a little bump of the road on into our Friday, but not a huge rain maker. So let's go ahead and get you out the door here this morning. As we start the day, we are, are in the 20s. It's a chilly one for sure. We're only going to climb into the low 40s as we get into the lunch hour, and our goal today is going to be in the low to mid 50s. So trending below average throughout the day. And that's going to make for a nice, cool and crisp evening around East Tennessee as well. We'll drop down to about 46 degrees by 10 o'clock tonight. Now, the other side of the story is going to be the wind and the dry air, just like what we saw yesterday. So elevated wind out of the southwest. That's what's going to help to boost our temperatures a little bit, little bit. But we have that very dry Canadian air in place. And so relative humidities fall, the wind increases, and so therefore, we have elevated fire danger risk once again across East Tennessee with a burn ban in Knox County. So make sure you check in on your counties uh, if you can burn, but probably a good idea not to do that today because like yesterday, the wind is going to be on the elevated side for sure. Overnight lows tonight under clear skies will drop down into the 30s. Three-day forecast will stay in the low to mid-60s all the way through Friday, but notice that chance of rain starts to work its way back into the Friday, uh, our area Friday. So that trough of low pressure is what's responsible for bringing us the cool, dry air around the area or regional high temperatures. If you have travel plans, will only be in the 50s and the 60s. We'll increase those rain chances just a little bit on Friday. Remember, that doesn't always tell you the whole story. It doesn't tell you diet, timing, duration, and or intensity. So let's go ahead and time it out for you, and let's talk about the intensity of the rain, or rather, lack thereof. It's our disturbance. That's our disturbance that's going to roll its way through the area on Friday. A wave in the atmosphere does not have a whole lot of precipitation attached to it across the southwest, but as we tap into the Gulf of Mexico, you're going to start to see this moisture increase from Texas to Oklahoma, across the Mississippi River Valley, and eventually into the southeastern U.S. So by Friday morning, probably not a lot of rainfall around the area. Through the day on Friday, here comes that wave swinging its way through, and into Saturday. On the back side of that, you get sinking air. It will shut down the rain. So how much do we actually see? Well, not a ton. Anywhere from maybe a tenth to upwards of a quarter of an inch of rain here locally. Across the southeastern U.S., we're going to get quite a bit more. Uh, Myrtle Beach and Charleston could pick up an inch and a half to nearly two inches of rainfall. We'll stay at or slightly above average for this time of the year, and low temperatures will be also at or slightly above average, generally speaking anyways. Uh, hey, by the way, it is officially spring, my friends. And with that said, we may be trending at or maybe even slightly below as we head through the first uh, week or so of spring. And what is spring? Well, it's the vernal equinox. What does that mean? Well, that means that the Earth's axis is tilted neither toward or away from the sun. And so we get equal amounts of daylight across the entire globe at all latitudes. We actually have over 12 hours of daylight expected throughout the day today and increasing as we head through spring and into the summer months. We sure hope you have a great day. Have you downloaded the East Tennessee Weather app yet? If not, you should. Just go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and search East TN Weather. It's all East Tennessee, all the time, all local, 24-7, 365 days a year. And it gives you everything you need to know every single day. We'll see you soon.